channel and welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing well and having a great day if you're new here my name is amanda and in today's video i'm going to be decluttering this side of my kitchen which i'm going to call part two if you haven't seen part one of my kitchen declutter i've linked it in the description box below that was a collaboration with the gorgeous claire from penguin and pear we both collaborated together to bring you some motivation organization and decluttering content so after doing part one i was so motivated myself to get the rest of the kitchen done and i've actually done little bits off camera but there's a few areas on this side of the kitchen which i haven't actually tackled yet and that's what i'm going to bring you today so i'm going to be focusing on this cupboard here okay that's our i'll show you more closely um this cupboard here is our snack cupboard i'm also going to be organizing this drawer and i'm also going to be decluttering this cupboard here now it doesn't actually look too bad on camera you know but i know for sure that half of this stuff in here we're no longer using and there's some things that i've got to put in there that i can't actually put in there because this is overloaded so i'm just going to declutter it and put all my nice bits in there that i want to use and get rid of the stuff that I'm not using. Okay, so before I get started, I just wanted to show you some of the storage solutions that I've got um, that's gonna help me out in this cupboard. So this cupboard here is our snack cupboard, and as you can see, there's there's no shelf in there. I've just got one basket to hold like um, nuts and all that kind of thing, but it just needs a proper organized and it needs some storage solutions in there. So the storage solutions that I've got to help me out with that cupboard, I'm just so excited to get that cupboard done because there's no system in place, so anytime I pull out a packet of crisps, the whole content of that cupboard can easily just come tumbling down on me. So I've got these baskets, which you probably would have seen on my previous hauls. These you can find in both Poundland and Wilco. Okay, I think I've got one of these from Wilco and the other two are from Poundland. Also, I've got this nifty foldable shelf, which I picked up in Pound Stretcher. And this is going to be a complete game changer. Now, I did actually use something similar to this, which I got from Poundland which was a telescopic shelf um, for my under kitchen sink cupboard. And that worked out amazingly. I'm still absolutely loving my under kitchen sink cupboard. It's so organized. It's just a complete game changer. I'm hoping and praying that this shelf is gonna do the same for me in this cupboard up here, okay? So I think I'm gonna actually start with this cupboard here now that I've been talking about it for so long. Let's start with that cupboard. So I'm just going to take everything out of the cupboard now. So this is what I mean guys, I can take out one packet of crisps and then everything just goes on top of each other or on top of me. So I'm just going to take everything out now and I know that this shelf is going to be a complete game changer. So did you guys see that? As I was taking the things out of the cupboard, everything was sort of tumbling on top of each other. It's just absolutely ridiculous. I, cause I just can't go on like this, you know? I just can't wait to get this cupboard sorted. I don't know why I haven't done it sooner. You know, it's a little bit of laziness as well. And, you know, now that I've done part one and I've organized that side of the kitchen, you know, the motivation just comes, isn't it? I mean, and today is such a beautiful day. We woke up to sunshine, you know, so that kind of got me in the mood as well to do a bit of, um, clean in and organizing you know it's a bit like it feels like spring it feels like spring and we're just in the end of february so i'm just going to use my astonished kitchen cleaner this is the zesty lemon one which is one of my favorites like i said in part one of the video this product is absolutely amazing to clean kitchen with the one product that you just need for your whole kitchen i'm telling you Let me try this out. Wow, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it fits in there perfectly.
So this looks 100% better. Um, it's going to be a complete game changer in terms of things not falling on top of me when I try and take them out of the cupboard. I've just separated the biscuits into one of these. I've got the crisps inside here. And then this way, actually, by doing this, I can actually see if I need to top up on any of these snacks as well. You know, as you can see, these are jam-packed full of our favourite crisps, which are from Aldi, by the way. Um, I'll just show you the packet. I was going to do a mini Aldi haul before I started this um, decluttering. But these are the crisps that we absolutely are loving at the minute at Aldi. And these are the Waves Multigrain Sweet Chili Crisps. We also got these ones, which are my favourites. And this is the Multigrain Sour Cream and Cracked Black Pepper. Oh my goodness. You get six packets in a bag in Aldi. And I think these are something like, they're less than a pound anyway for the whole bag. So absolutely amazing. Okay, so that's what I've got in this box here. And then I've got some rice cakes in this one here. And then just some pop-out barbecue crisps there as well. And then in this one, like I said, I've got all the biscuits in there. So again, I can see exactly what biscuits we need to top up on. I can see that we don't have any chocolate digestives in there. So that's going to go into my shopping list for tomorrow. And then in this one, I've just got our nuts in there. Okay. Good boy. So yeah, sorry, little Oakley's home because of course it's Saturday and he's a little bit under the weather actually. So um, I've had to sort of attend to him in between of filming, but he's been such a good boy. He's let me get on and do this. Okay, so you might you might see him appear in his pajamas. It's still, but you know, it's one of those days we were just in our house clothes, pajamas, and just chilling. You know. So anyways, I'm really happy how these are looking, and I know for sure when I put them back in here on that shelf, the foldable shelf is going to be a complete game changer. So that's how inside the cupboard is looking now and I just absolutely love it. I've got everything in these baskets that I just can pull out quite easily and this shelf works out really well as well. I've even got a bit of space on the side there to add like our sweetie jar and everything just looks absolutely organised and I just love it. So next up I'm going to be doing this drawer just down here. This is the drawer that, this is our drawer that holds all our um, like baking foil and baking paper and tea towels so this drawer is not looking too bad at all to be fair with you but it just needs a little tweeting a little bit a little bit more organizing so i've got these two baskets they're a good size they're quite long and perfect for storing tea towels in or even the baking foil and the baking paper and all that so yeah i'm just going to take everything out of the drawer give it a little wipe down fit these in and organize the drawer And this is how the drawer is looking now, organised and decluttered. Okay guys, so next up I'm going to be tackling this cupboard. This is the big one guys. I've got so many cups in here, mugs, bowls, plates, you name it, it's in here, you know. And a lot of this stuff we don't actually use. We've got mainly all our everyday crockery and cups and mugs and all that kind of thing on this um, lac Ikea shelf just at the top here. So in this cupboard is just some extra bits and bobs, but um, it's just too much extra. You know, we don't need all of this stuff. So I have to make room for some bowls that I got from B&M um, quite recently. It's these pasta bowls, but we haven't got space for them. So they always stay out on the side on top of the work counter. And I really just want to get them into this cupboard, you know. So I'm going to take out the stuff that we're not using. I'm going to take everything out actually, declutter it, put back everything that we use and donate the rest of it to charity and also friends and family.
And then this is how the cupboard is looking now. the end of the video thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you got some inspiration and motivation to get your kitchen decluttered or any space in your home you know like sometimes we have that one area that needs decluttering whether it's the under kitchen sink under the stairs cupboard a spare room you know a cupboard or wardrobe you know we tend to put them on the back burner because we think oh god we can't deal with it but my advice to you i'm no expert but my advice to you if you're able to just start just start you know do a little bit at a time do one drawer at a time one cupboard at a time just take your time and do it and then by the time you know it it's all done it's all finished but thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for all your support and for all of you that have come over from part one which was the collaboration video all of you guys that have come over from penguin and pear claire's channel and you have subscribed thank you so much i really appreciate that there's going to be lots more content coming your way decluttering organizing shopping halls diy and lots more lifestyle content okay so i really appreciate your subscription if you haven't subscribed already and you're liking what you see you're liking the vibe do hit the subscribe button i post weekly videos on a tuesday thursday and on a sunday you get a bonus video from me sundays is normally a bonus video but i've kind of been getting on and doing sunday videos anyway this video is going to get to you on sunday and i really hope you enjoyed it okay so thanks so much for watching take care keep well and i shall see you on the next video bye, bye.